contend, to compete in order to win something or to achieve a position of leadership. During the trial, the defense attorney will contend his client is innocent because he was out of state when the murder was committed. Contiguous. Next to or touching another, usually similar, thing. Although many individuals own several pieces of property in our town, few of them own contiguous lots that are located right next to each other. Continence. Self-restraint or abstinence, especially in regard to sexual activity. My continence gave me the strength to avoid the dessert table. Contraband. Goods that are brought into or taken out of the country secretly and illegally. At the airport, carry-on bags are inspected to ensure passengers are not attempting to transport contraband. Contravene. To do something that a law or rule does not allow or to break a law or rule. Because your actions contravene school policy, you're being suspended for 10 days. Contrite. Feeling very sorry and guilty for something bad that you have done. The local news was noticeably contrite and apologized to viewers for the countless on-air technical difficulties. Contrive. To arrange a situation or event, or arrange for something to happen, using clever planning. I've decided to contrive a meeting between the two of them. Contumacious. Refusing to obey or respect the law in a way that shows contempt. Because the contumacious student refused to obey the principal's instructions, he was suspended from school. Conundrum. A problem that is difficult to deal with. Trying to solve this conundrum is really making my head hurt. Convene. To bring together a group of people for a meeting, or to meet for a meeting. As soon as the last closing argument is made, the jury will convene to ponder the verdict. Convention. A usual or accepted way of behaving, especially in social situations, often following an old way of thinking or a custom in one particular society. They believe that it is essential to defy convention. Converge. To move toward the same point and come closer together or meet. With the location and time of the would-be protest shared with everyone beforehand, the many protesters involved will converge on the town hall at exactly 8 a.m. Conversant. Familiar with, having experience of, or knowing. The man is conversant in several different languages including French and English. Convex. Curved or swelling out. The convex curve of the scythe allows for the tool to wrap around the wheat, like a closed hand. Convince. To persuade someone or make someone certain. Protesters tried to convince the congressman to vote against the bill through loud protests and moving letters convivial, pleasant and friendly in manner or attitude. If you cannot be convivial, then you should not invite people over for dinner. Convoke. To arrange or call people to attend a large formal meeting. The chairman decided to convoke a meeting to discuss the company's budget issue. Convoluted. Having a complicated structure and therefore difficult to understand. My head began to hurt as I listened to the professor's convoluted speech. Convulse. To shake violently, or to cause someone to shake without control. During the seizure, the man's muscles tightened, and his body began to convulse back and forth. Copious. In large amounts, or more than enough. To avoid having a hangover, do not to drink a copious amount of alcohol. Coquette. A woman who likes to attract attention by behaving as if she is sexually interested in people, in a pleasant but not serious way. When the young man saw the coquette playfully teasing other men at the party, he was heartbroken. Cornerstone. Something of great importance that everything else depends on. The cornerstone of the company's marketing strategy is the dessert's image as a healthy treat. Cornucopia. A large amount or supply of something. According to the cruise director, passengers can choose from a cornucopia of activities during the voyage. Corollary existing or appearing as a consequence. Although psychology recognizes the corollary uncertainties in computer-dependent methods, it tends to underestimate them. Corrigible. Possible to improve or correct. The judge believed that there was hope for the corrigible criminal. Corroborate. To add proof to an account, statement, idea, etc. with new information. We now have new evidence to corroborate the defendant's story. Cosmology. The study of the nature and origin of the universe.
Modern cosmology believes the universe to have come into existence about 15 billion years ago. Cosset. To give a lot of attention to making someone comfortable and to protecting them from anything unpleasant. She had been cosseted by her parents all during her childhood. Coterie. A small group of people with shared interests, often one that does not want other people to join them. Our coterie of girls always sits at the best table in the school cafeteria. Countenance. To approve of or give support to something. The school will not countenance bad behavior. Counterpoint. To set off or emphasize by juxtaposition. If you counterpoint some of her early writing with her later work, you can see just how much she improved. Counterproductive. Having an effect that is opposite to the one intended or wanted. The measures are counterproductive and have only increased crime in our community. Coup. An unexpectedly successful achievement. Their story about the princess was a real coup. Covert. Hidden our secret. The spy went to great lengths to make sure his enemies would not discover his covert plans. Covetous. Wanting to have something too much, especially something that belongs to someone else. The covetous woman couldn't stop staring at my designer handbag. Cow. To frighten someone into doing something, using threats or violence. Politicians are too cowed by the media even to introduce the bill. Coward. A person who is not brave and is too eager to avoid danger, difficulty, or pain. Because Tim was a coward, he was afraid to ask Maggie on a date. Cower. To lower your head or body in fear, often while moving backwards. The mean girls at school thought they would make me cower in shame when they posted the altered pictures of me online. Cousin. To trick or deceive someone. The smooth-talking salesman was able to cousin money out of the unsuspecting woman who agreed to buy the junk vehicle. Crafty. Clever, especially in a dishonest or secret way. I've had a crafty idea for getting round the regulations. Crank. A person who has strange or unusual ideas and beliefs. He was originally dismissed as a crank but his theories later became very influential. Craven. Extremely cowardly. My husband James proves he is not craven every time he runs into a burning building to save a stranger. Credence. The belief that something is true. Because the experiment had been performed over it a hundred times, a great deal of credence was given to the results. Credo. A set of beliefs that influences the way you live. The luxury hotel has earned its reputation by sticking to its credo of exceeding expectations. Credulous. Too willing to believe what you are told and so easily deceived. Mary is so credulous that she may readily accept any excuse you make. Crestfallen. Disappointed and sad because of having failed unexpectedly. When my husband learned his rival had gotten the promotion he wanted, he was crestfallen. Cripple. To cause serious damage to someone or something, making him, for or it weak and not effective. Economic sanctions have crippled the country's economy. Cruel. Extremely unkind and unpleasant and causing pain to people or animals intentionally. Cruel and punishing dictators governed the country for many years. Crumble. To break or cause something to break into small pieces. Ancient ruins that are exposed to weathering eventually erode and crumble. Culminate. To have as a result or be the final result of a process. At the end of the night, the concert will culminate in a huge fireworks display. Culpable. Deserving to be blamed or considered responsible for something bad. The judge found the man culpable of the crime and sentenced him to life in prison. Culprit. Someone who has committed a crime or done something wrong. Police finally managed to catch the culprit. Cunning. Skillful in planning and ready to deceive people in order to get what you want. Despite the complex security system in modern vehicles, cunning thieves still manage to get away with thousands of cars and trucks every year. Cupidity. A strong feeling of wanting to have something, especially money or possessions. John's cupidity led him to try and rob the bank. Cure all. Something that people think will solve any problem or cure any illness. Investment is not a cure-all for every economic problem. Curmudgeon. A crusty, ill-tempered, and usually old man. 
My neighbor is a curmudgeon who keeps the soccer balls that accidentally come into his yard. Cursive. Written with rounded letters that are joined together. Cursive writing is no longer taught in some schools since the use of computer has replaced traditional writing. Cursory. Quick and probably not too detailed. Even a cursory glance at the figures will tell you that sales are down this year. Curt. Rude as a result of being very quick or brief. The service agent was fired after he was overheard treating customers in a curt manner. Curtail. To reduce or limit something, or to stop something before it is finished. The checks and balances system of our government serves to curtail any of the three administrative branches from having too much power. Cutback. To shorten by cutting. Ways to cut back corporate waste in offices are being discussed by those that want to decrease spending. Cynicism. Cynical attitude or quality. He's often been accused of cynicism in his attitude towards politics. Cytoplasm. The substance inside a cell that surrounds the cell's nucleus. A cytoplasm is a thick solution inside a cell and is made up of water, salts, and proteins. Dairy. Foods that are made from milk, such as cream, butter, and cheese. Some smoothies are dairy because they have cream in them, but some are made strictly with ice and not milk. Dally. To waste time or do something slowly. You won't succeed if you dally away your time. Daunt. To make someone feel slightly frightened or worried about their ability to achieve something. The difficulty did not daunt him at all, while most of us hesitated to progress in these challenging times dearth. An amount or supply that is not large enough. Because there was a dearth of evidence, the district attorney had to drop the charges. Debacle. A complete failure, especially because of bad planning and organization. When the movie was released, it was called a debacle by the critics. Debase. To reduce the quality or value of something. The politician tried to debase his rival's good reputation by spreading false rumors about him. Debauchery, bad sexual behavior, drinking too much alcohol, taking drugs, etc. Because he was looking forward to four years of debauchery, Jamie could not wait to go to college. Debunk, to show that something is not true. The scientist hoped to debunk the genetic theory by completing his own research. Decadent, marked by decay or decline. Once the decadent politician was finally caught in the scandalous affair he was having, he was dismissed from office. Decamp. To leave suddenly and unexpectedly, usually without telling anyone. She has decamped with all our money. Decipher. To discover the meaning of something written badly or in a difficult or hidden way. Even the country's top linguist found it difficult to decipher the ancient text. Declaim. To express something with strong feeling, especially in a loud voice or with forceful language. She declaimed against the evils of capitalism. Declivity, downward inclination, or a descending slope. She has a hard time walking from her house to the lake due to her street's slight declivity. Decor, the color, style, and arrangement of the objects in her room. The quiet decor of her home made her feel comfortable and at ease. Decorous. Behaving politely and in a controlled way. The director of the finishing school is a decorous woman known for her perfect social skills. Decry. To publicly criticize something as being undesirable or harmful. The liberal news media is constantly trying to decry the efforts of the country's conservative president. Deduce. To reach an answer by thinking about a general truth and its relationship to a specific situation. We can deduce a conclusion from the premise. Deem. To consider or judge something in a particular way. The principal will probably deem the boy's behavior as upsetting and worthy of a suspension. Defame. To damage someone's or something's reputation by saying or writing bad things that are not true. The newspaper denies any intention to defame the senator's reputation. Default. A failure to do something, such as pay a debt that you legally have to do. The bank will repossess your car if you default on your loan payments. Defeasible. Capable of being an elder made void. The contract was rendered defeasible by this careless wording. Defendant. 
a person in a law case who is accused of having done something illegal. The plaintiff sued the defendant for damages. Defer. To delay something until later time. Customers often defer payment for as long as possible. Deferential. Polite and showing respect. People were always deferential to the military veteran and showed him respect every time he was in uniform. Defile. To spoil something or someone so that that thing or person is less beautiful or pure. Although recent history has shown some improvement, humans continue to defile the planet with their extravagance and waste of natural resources. Deft. Skillful, clever, or quick. The deft musician was able to play the harmonica and the piano at the same time. Defunct. No longer existing, living, or working correctly. The long playing record was made defunct by the arrival of the CD. Degrade. To spoil or destroy the beauty or quality of something. During the presidential debate, the candidates degrade each other with insults and name calling. DFI. To consider someone or something to be so important that they are almost like a god. The people seem to deify their leader, worshipping him as if he was the Earth's creator. Deject. To make gloomy. The players were dejected after losing the big game. Deleterious. Harmful. Because I believe alcohol is deleterious, I rarely drink more than one glass of wine. Delimit. To mark or describe the limits of something. After the conflict broke out in Yugoslavia, world leaders came together to delimit boundaries and break the region into individual countries. Delineate. To mark the border of something. Before I began to plant my seeds, I will delineate the rows of my garden to make sure every vegetable grows in a precise line. Delinquent. Late in paying money owed. With so many bills delinquent, Kevin had to look for a second job to help him earn enough to catch up. Delusion. Belief in something that is not true. Though she is popular, my classmate is under the delusion that everyone likes her. Delve. To search, especially as if by digging, in order to find a thing or information. Because she was planning a trip, the woman began to delve into a search for plane tickets. Demagogic. Trying to win support by exciting the emotions of ordinary people rather than by having good or morally right ideas. Demagogic governments sometimes paint foreigners as scapegoats, leading to nationalization or laws restricting foreign investment. 